Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pam. Uh, today I have a thrift haul that's a little bit of everything. So, let's get started. First of all, for my junk journaling crowd, um, I found a couple of calendars. One is uh, Boys Town. It's called Subtle Shades of Nature. And it's got, let me turn to a page here. It's got these really pretty illustrations. Little birds. Each one of them is just beautiful. And uh, I think these will go great in the junk drawer. I'm not going to show you every single page, but you get the idea. Okay. The second one is called um, 2020 America the Beautiful. And this is um, the. Um, do to do it's the DAV which is I'm trying to think of the name of the DAV organ dot org it's um, for the for for vets for veterinarians or veterinarians veterans <laughs> please forgive me um, that have served our country and given their lives and come back wounded uh, we owe them so much. But anyway, I thought this was so beautiful. It's the Song of America, Be the Beautiful. And on each page it has some of the words of the song. And uh, So I thought this will make a nice uh, journal as a dedication to all those who have fought and given their lives for us. And, um, Love Lighthouses. Oh, it's my favorite. And out west. Oh my goodness. Is that gorgeous? So God shed his grace on me on that one. Beautiful. So that's going to make a great journal. And the last thing I found was The Bard of Avon. And it's a, the story of William Shakespeare. And in this, it tells of his different plays. It um, kind of tells when he was a little kid. Um, how he just started um, wanting to learn other languages, and, and it, it's a nice, it's a really nice historical book. And then it has some of his plays, like here's Midsummer Night's Dream. And uh, let's see if I can find one more here. Oh, Macbeth. It's got the, the three old witches and everything. So this is going to make a great journal, I think. Um, the next thing I found was, and this is going back away, so you youngins probably won't know what these are, but they were called flower frogs. And what you did is you set them down in your vase, and there was a hole for each stem of the flower, so they would be evenly distributed in the vase. So they would, you know, spread out nice. But I've got so many of these things, so what I did is I took marbles and glued them over the holes and made a paperweight so i'm going to show you up close what the top looks like and what it looks like from the side and uh, i mean you can make different color ones but i just i picked blue because i like blue uh, as far as glass so just a great little idea of how to use some old things that we don't use anymore make something new out of it and the next thing I got was a another paperweight. Um, this one's beautiful. It's like this, okay. And I'm gonna see if I can put my hand over it, maybe. You can see. I need something dark. I have nothing dark. Oh, I have nothing dark here. Anyways, it's it's a snowflake. Ah, you might be able to better see it without my hand behind it. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was so pretty. It's a nice, heavy paperweight. And not a uh, chip or anything on it. There's one little scratch right here, but, you know, like, I mean, for something as old as this is, I just thought that was so beautiful. And then I found this. Um, 
as part of my little... I didn't do a whole lot of decorating for Christmas this year because I ran out of time. But I found this um, after Christmas, and I thought, well, I'll save it for next year. But it's a it's a glass tree, and I don't know if I can if I can catch the sparkle of it in the light. But there's like a smooth rib, and then there's a textured rib. So pretty, and it's open on the bottom here. It's all the way up to a nice point, and it's in perfect condition. So I'm going to incorporate this next year into one of my little Christmas displays. Um, the next thing I found, um, oh, let me slip back to, oh, no, no. I found this piece of fabric, and I was thinking, oh, um, yeah, I'm always looking for fabric for my junk journals. But the floral on this, this fabric is too big. But you know what? This will make two gorgeous pillow covers. So that's what I'm going to do out of it. And they'll be for sale on my uh, uh, Poshmark and Etsy store when I get them done. And they'll be perfect for the spring and the summer. Okay. And the next thing I found, another piece of jewelry. I know, just what I need, right? This is a bracelet. It's very, very pretty. It's uh, got two rhinestones. They're prong set. And uh, it has a lobster claw clasp in the back of it. But I thought that was really, really pretty. So I got that. And I found, I love neck scarves. I'm surprised I don't have one on today. But I found this one and I love, I wear a lot of black, black and white. And I found this one that's it's black and white striped. So this will make a nice, and this is one of those infinity scarves, which you can double up or, you know, however you want to do it, but very pretty, very pretty color stuff. And another thread. Huh. I, I got to start saving these for something. Who knows what? But uh, they, they follow me everywhere. Anyways, um, nice scarf. Really liked it. And I found this yummy, yummy sweater. It's made by uh, Croft and Barrows. And it's like a, it's like a burgundy, brownish, rusty, color. I don't know. It's a beautiful color, though. Let's see if I can hold it up so you can see the color of it. And it's one of those yummy chenille sweaters. Nice and long. And I like the neckline. It's not like, you know, humongous. Because I don't have any shoulders. So I have to look for small neckline things. But, uh, oh, they just look so, so cuddly. So, got that for me. And, um, I got a couple of hard eyeglass cases. I got a black one, and a brown one, and a black one. And inside, this, the black one's got pink on the inside, like a pink velvet. And the brown one has navy blue, which I thought was really pretty. And I'm not going to say what I'm going to use these for, but there will be a surprise coming in the near future of what I'm going to do with these. Secret, secret. Oh, and then, okay, uh, I went to uh, my thrift store where I, I volunteer on Wednesday. And uh, they needed help yesterday because the furnace went out at the shop and they were closed for a whole week. So they knew they were going to really get a lot of people in yesterday. So I said, hey, you need me to come down? And they're going, yes. So I went down and worked. And I found a couple of pairs of sunglasses. Now this first pair is like, it's a normal type sunglasses, okay? But what I like about them is... They curve around to the sides, so, you know, because sometimes when you're driving, that sunshine goes in the corner, you know, behind your sunglasses, and it blinds you, okay? So, I thought those were pretty cool. But this pair, now I have to explain, I love cats. I have cats. Over the years, I've had many cats. And I saw these glasses, and I said, I have to have those. So, are you ready for this? Okay. Cat eyes, cat 
cat eyes, little ears. Can you see it? it? Are those the darn cutest things you've ever seen? I love them. And you know what? As Tammy says, mine. <laughs> I just think you're so cool. And they actually have like a, like a copper. If I can get it up here. It's like a copper finish on it. I don't know if it's copper, but it's, it's got a copper finish on it. But I loved the shape of these glasses. <laughs> Only I would find some glasses like that, right? And the last thing I found, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I thought I was going to use them in junk journaling, but I found out that they might be worth some money. Um, it's The game is called Scat. And it's all in German. So I looked it up, and it's a game that was created in 1860. Um... It's kind of similar, I guess, to Pinochle, or maybe Rook, is what I'm finding out so far. But what fascinated me is, is the cards only go uh, Ace, King, Queen, Jack, uh, then 10, 9, 8, and 7. That's that's the all of, of each set. That's what you get, okay? So, like this, okay? So, what I was really fascinated is the illustrations. That's the jack. Okay. That's the queen. And that's the king. Aren't they gorgeous? So I almost, I don't know. I might be able to use them in a journal where I can, um, you know, save the, the pictures of, of these three. There's the queen on that one. Here's the king of that one. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do here. But, um, there's the spade one. There's the jack. There's the queen. Beautiful illustrations. There's the king. And then, the uh, clubs. There's the jack. And the queen. And the king. So I'm, I'm just not, I'm torn. I'm torn of what I'm going to do, but um, I don't want to cover them up. Let's put it that way. I don't want to cover up the illustrations. So that's it. It was just a quick haul, but I wanted to come on and say hi and uh, just show you the few fun things that I found. And um, we'll uh, be getting back to you soon. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, leave me a comment. Hope that you'll give me a like and uh, share with other people and uh, until we see you again have a good day okay <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs>